Hey guys, do you ever see certain things that certain men do in public places, areas? That just makes you go, oh man, I can't believe that guy just did that. Well, today I'm gonna talk about some of these things and hopefully some of these guys are watching this video and then they will change their ways. And hopefully we can make this world a little bit better to live in. So let's start with number one. Not washing your hands before you leave the toilet. I mean, do I really need to say anything here? Well, I do because a lot of guys are not self-aware, but if women knew how many guys did this, they would really not let men, any men, touch them. Because the number of men I've seen just leaving the toilet without washing their hands is the majority. And it is, it's disgusting. Think about it, it is disgusting. You do your business, you, what, your hands are touching, you know, personal stuff and you, you just walk out like that. And then, if you do go and wash it, you know, some of these guys, they wash it and then they do this, you know. And then you stand right next to them. You're washing your hands and you feel these, the splatter all over you. Don't do that as well. Picking your nose. I mean, that's just gross. Doing that in public, man. That's one of the reasons why I never like to really greet guys. Handshake, you know, I'd rather prefer a fist bump because I never know what they are doing with their hands. So picking your nose in public areas is a big no-no. And also picking your ears. I mean, some guys, you talk to them, that you have a, a conversation with them and they, they, they do this. I mean, that's disgusting. Go home, go to a toilet or take a shower and take care of your hygiene. Showing off your muscles. Yeah, I mean, you know, those guys who just try to show off their muscles to look more cool, more manly, you know? I mean, I know some of us we do it just as a joke But there are actually some guys who really do it because they want to look cool and strong manly for some reason I mean, we used to do it when we were kids, but some guys they never grow up You know another thing that I see a lot is guys on the beach You know they walk and they're like they check out their abs, you know, or, or their muscles like this. Stop doing that Everyone can see what you're doing <laughs> It really looks silly true confidence is not I need to impress everyone, it's knowing that you don't have to. Clean your toilet seat. I mean, would you do that at a home? That's just crazy. You go to public areas and then you don't clean your toilet seat. You know, I'm not a guy who, I don't want to go to public toilets, but there are times when you need to go. When your body wants to go, you need to go and do your thing. So you rush, you go to the toilet, you get there, you're like, yes, I'm here. And then it's full and you're like, oh, and you start to panic. And then finally someone opens the door and you're like, yes. And then as soon as you want to go in, you're reminded that, mm, man, I hope this place is clean. And you connect with the guy. You go in, you watch him eye to eye, and you think to yourself, man, I hope this guy cleaned after himself. And then you go and you see this pee all over the toilet. I mean, really? That's disgusting. Come on, man. If you are one of those guys who do this, that's disgusting. Shame on you. You're a selfish person. Swearing. You know, if you swear in public places, then you're really not self-aware. Especially family-friendly places like a mall. I mean, imagine this. I walk with my little nieces, nephews in the mall. They're so innocent, right? Young kids and then a group of guys walk past they swear they talk these vulgar words that's just even too vulgar for me to even think about it's a family friendly place and then those little kids they are forced to hear what you are saying I mean that's gross and you know it always surprises me that there are these group of guys who think it's cool they are cooler or better if they swear it's actually showing that you have low self-esteem because if you believe that you need to use swear words, every second word is a crutch word, is a swear word that you use to try and look cooler or better, sound better, means that you don't have enough confidence in yourself just to talk normally without swear words. It's actually sad. And you will lose a lot of respect from a lot of people, especially in the work environment. Playing loud music. You know those, those guys who play loud music in their cars, you can hear it from five blocks away. I mean, that's just so disrespectful, right? Because it's selfish. You are forcing everyone to listen to your choice of music. While somebody is just, they just want to have a nice day. So you take their peace away. The same thing happens late at night. You know, imagine a father who works two jobs, really hard to support his family. He's tired, he gets home. 
he's he's not been sleeping good for the last week because he's been working so hard and he's looking forward to this one day for example a sunday that he can just go and rest and just as he closes his eyes on the bed he hears doof, doof, doof. man this happened to me a few times even where i live now we have a crazy neighbor here who sometimes he just doesn't have any respect for other people so selfish and it makes you want to stand up and go do something <laughs> But I'm a Christian, God calms me down so that I don't do anything silly. But if you are one of those guys, just be considerate. Think about your neighbors, think about other people. Stop being selfish. Talking too loud. You know, this happens especially at restaurants. You know, when you, when you plan that special evening, that date with your wife. I mean, your schedule is so busy, you only have that one day and you prepare for it, you, you look forward to it the whole week and then it arrives and then you go and you're happy and you just sit down and as you want to enjoy a nice evening, you, these guys on your right, they just start laughing loud, swearing, cursing, they just talk loud and they don't care about anyone but themselves. Just mind your manners, be more self-aware and just be a decent human being. Stop with the tough guy act. You know, whenever I see a guy trying to act all tough and all strong, and I just want to walk away. I mean, really. The worst thing is when there's a group of guys together and all of them are trying to prove that they are the alpha male. I mean, I'm just, it's just, it's so childish. It honestly is childish. Someone who is puffed up, boastful, arrogant is just actually insecure. It is silly and childish. I call it plain maniki syndrome in Afrikaans, my language. To try and translate it, little guy syndrome, eh, it's not a good translation, the, the, the correct meaning doesn't get across, but it's just like, yeah, it's actually a little guy mentality. In English, the translation is little guy mentality, a small mind. You know, the most men that I admire, that are self-confident, they are never arrogant or boastful. They are always humble. Never praise yourself in front of other people. Let other people do it. Every social interaction that you have is not a contest to see who has the best education, career, car, house, or the most money. In fact, just that need that you feel that you need to boast about things about your life, even material things, things that you've achieved, actually shows that you need the approval of other people to feel better about yourself. That is not true confidence. True confidence is knowing who you are and you don't need other people's approval. Now, if you wanna check out some other self-improvement videos, then check out these ones here and I'll see you there. And always remember, life is short, so don't waste yours. Cheers, guys.